हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज अ टेन ईयर ओल्ड चाइल्ड हू प्रेजेंटेड विद एबनॉर्मल बॉडी मूवमेंट्स मल्टीपल एपिसोड्स इन अ डे नॉट एसोसिएटेड विद एनी लॉस ऑफ कॉन्शियसनेस विद हिस्ट्री ऑफ फ्रीक्वेंट फॉल्स नॉट एसोसिएटेड विद एनी ब्लडर बाउल इन कॉन्टिनेंस नो हिस्ट्री सजेस्टिव ऑफ एनी मोटर और सेंसरी वीकनेस ऑन फिजिकल एग्जामिनेशन पेशेंट वॉज हीमोडाइनमिकली ही स्टेबल On central nervous system examination the higher mental functions were normal the cranial nerve examination was also normal on motor and sensory examination there was no deficit there were no cerebellar signs rest of the systemic examination was essentially normal so what do you think these abnormal movements are these are myoclonic jerks myoclonus refers to very brief abrupt involuntary non suppressible jerky contractions involving a single muscle or muscle groups the rapidity of these movements often described as shock like there are multiple causes of myoclonic jerks in children the physiological causes being hiccups nocturnal myoclonus the developmental causes include benign neonatal sleep myoclonus and benign myoclonus of early infancy certain storage diseases can also present with myoclonus inherited degenerative diseases like huntington disease progressive myoclonic ataxia can also present with myoclonic jerks some of the infectious and post infectious causes include meningitis encephalitis epstein barr virus and influenza to name a few some of the important metabolic causes of the myoclonus are uremia hepatic failure electrolyte disturbances hypo and hyperglycemia urea cycle disorders certain mitochondrial disorders biotinidase deficiency cobalamin deficiency to name a few so this boy is being diagnosed with sspe which is a rare complication of measles